There's magic. There's magic for all of us. And uh, I remember sitting on the kitchen floor with Nancy's scrapbooks talking about all the things she had done and I told her about how I had kept track of her since she was probably 11 or 12 years old. And it was just instant rapport and, I, and she loved the challenge. And I loved the challenge. And I said, how would you like to come to the University of Tulsa full scholarship and start an instant tradition? When Dale McNamara looks back at the two years that Nancy Lopez spent at the University of Tulsa, one word keeps repeating, magic. Lopez was probably already close to the best female golfer on the planet the day she arrived at Tulsa. After all, she won the New Mexico State Amateur title at age 12 and continued that at 13 and 14. She won the U.S. Girls Junior Championship in 1972 and 1974, and then nearly won the U.S. Open in the summer of 75, right before her Tulsa career was to begin. Her tie for second, four strokes behind Sandra Palmer, caused McNamara to worry she might skip college. Instead, Lopez said she would honor her commitment for at least two years, and what a two-year stretch it was. From the day she arrived on the TU campus in her yellow Grand Torino that Father Domingo gave her, she had her pedal to the metal. Peeling out so often, her teammates nicknamed her Screech. Lopez was in a hurry, whether to get to Cedar Ridge Country Club for practice and a swing tip from pro Buddy Phillips, or off with her teammates to their favorite hangouts. Mostly, she just wanted to get to and win the next tournament. All Lopez did in college was win 11 of 19 tournaments, finish first in one national championship and second in another, and she did it all with a smile. And oh, what a smile she's always carried. You know, her dad told her, he said, Nancy, if you smile, everybody will love you. Well, boy, is that the truth. She has a million dollar smile and she continually smiled. She may be hitting the ball just terrible on the range and you walk up to her and say, how's it going, Nancy? She said, great. She just had that absolute wonderful attitude and everyone loved her. Lopez actually turned pro after her second year at Tulsa, but in 1977, her mother Mariana passed away shortly after the U.S. Open. She rushed home and only played six events that year. She returned to the tour full-time in 1978, which became her official rookie year and the start of a phenomenon which the LPGA Tour hasn't quite witnessed before or since. Lopez won nine times in 1978, including five in a row, beginning with the Greater Baltimore Classic on May 14th. She became the only LPGA player ever to win Rookie of the Year, Player of the Year, and the Vair Trophy in the same year. By the time she won eight more tournaments in 1979, the entire world knew what McNamara and Phillips realized four years earlier. She was the best female golfer on the planet. She was a type of girl and had so much talent that you didn't do a lot with her. I mean, I did a little bit to help her grip and some minor things, but uh, the talent was there. I think mentally, she was above the others. She just uh, paid attention to what she was needing to do at the time it's with her swing, and she wanted to be the best. And no indication from any of her conversation. She wasn't conceited, she wasn't that way. She was just, she was exceptional. Lopez went on to win 48 times in her transcendent professional career, the last of those in 1997, and her popularity never waned. What she started at Tulsa was just as impressive. McNamara went on to lead the university to four national championships, and numerous players went on to LPGA stardom. No, I never realized we'd win four national championships. You know, 26 years at TU was just just such a magical time for, for everyone there in that golf program. And uh, you can't imagine that, but boy, was she the, the catalyst. She was the one. What Lopez ignited turned into one of the great dynasties in college sports. And even though the association was brief, TU fans 
and Oklahomans in general have always viewed their neighbor from Roswell, New Mexico as an adopted favorite daughter. It was the perfect place for me, Lopez said. I loved the campus, loved my teammates, and Dale was more than just a coach. She was very much a mother figure. She kept us all under her wing and was very much the mom that we needed. Today, Lopez has homes in Colorado and Florida, plays events on the Legends Tour, and also runs Nancy Lopez Golf Adventures, which travels the country, putting on clinics and giving private lessons at various destinations. She was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1987. Though the world fell in love with her, those of us here in Oklahoma are grateful for what she accomplished here and the positive light she reflected back on our state throughout her amazing journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Nancy Lopez to the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame.